Hi everybody. Um, I just wanted to give you a little bit of an update before we dug in to this Lithuanian. Correct. This should be a roast beef and buckwheat, I believe. Oh, sounds delicious. Um, but we've had some problems. Uh, I noticed that we haven't been very active, perhaps, on social media or very responsive to comments. Um, unfortunately, we had made a deal um, back in April to get some foreign MREs, and the MREs were not what we had expected, um, both in quantity and quality. Uh, we had a dispute with PayPal, and PayPal ruled in our favor. Unfortunately, the seller did not take that well and started leaving some messages that were quite unpleasant and also shared our personal information all over the web. Uh, he also reported us to the USDA and other agencies. Uh, so we did have a, a visit from the USDA. Uh, they were uh, two really good guys. Um, incredibly nice guys. Um, did put a uh, damper on the business though. Uh, we're no longer selling foreign uh, MREs or rations. These are only for personal use and the video is for educational purposes only. Um, however, we still will be selling American MREs and we look to be selling some more camping equipment. Yep. To see how the market goes. So if there's anything that you'd like to see uh, offered on the website, let us know. Um, try to get it for and you. just on a side note, we will be selling other foreign items uh, that we've continued to sell, such as uh, old uh, 1970s canteens from the Czech Republic, uh, Russian paraphernalia stuff, you know, just little things like um, playing cards and stuff like that. We will continue to sell foreign stuff, uh, just uh, rations with meat in them. Uh, we will not uh, be selling those on the website or anything. All right, let's get into this MRE. So this is a Lithuanian. I got this uh, the other day. It has a inspection date of January 15th, 2021. Excellent. So a friend of mine in Lithuania sent me a couple to uh, test and stuff. So let's see what all we have here. Whoa! Oh, keeps on giving. Yeah, quite a, quite a bit of stuff. <clears throat> All right. hmm. So that probably is... It says it's got vitamin C in it. Yeah, so this is a fruit beverage powder. This is a sugar. They were nice enough to put that in English. This is coffee. Let's see what else we have in the bag. So we have some type of jam. Interesting. And looks like to be a good chocolate bar. I can't wait to try that. Mm. Um, so these are hazelnuts. Delicious. Uh, let's see what else we got. Got your spoon. Uh, these are fuel tabs for heating up, and here is the stove. What? So this, is it a cardboard stove? Uh, no, I don't believe so. So oh, okay. this is a little foldable stove with the fuel tabs, although I will be using that. But that is pretty nifty. Uh, we have a bag as well. And it actually comes with a flameless uh, ration heater also. Interesting. So, so I guess that's to heat up your coffee? Uh, a zip tie. Okay. Uh, this is a refreshing towelette and some matches. And then here are our crackers, hard biscuits. So, and this is our main. Um, so, I guess the menu has changed. So, we're in, going to end up with stewed chicken with rice. Mm, that sounds delicious. I'm so, in. So this is what we got uh, in this. I, I guess the uh, menus change quite frequently, and this is a 2021. So, 
So we'll throw this out onto a, a tray and get started. I'll set that right over there. I love hazelnuts. They are delicious. Kind of interesting on the zip tie. I'm not really sure what that's for. But... Uh, instructions in a language that I can't read. So. Um, I was talking about the zip tie. Oh, uh, probably to reclose a bag or something. They don't expect you to eat all this deliciousness in one setting? Oh, I guess not. All right. So, and we did make a mistake. Uh, it comes with honey instead of jam. Um, I wish I had my meter with me to see how hot that is, but this this fla uh, flameless ration heater, it is so hot that I cannot even touch it. I mean, how hot do you think that is? It's pretty hot. Yeah, in some places it's even hotter. So, it is just insanely hot. So I, I wonder if this tastes like tastes like tang. Hmm. Not quite as orangey as, as regular tang, but I, I like it. Which I like tang, so I'm curious. I gotta try one of these hazelnuts. This is really delicious. It is. Those are really good hazelnuts. They it is so rare to see hazelnuts in the U.S. outside of a Nutella form. So... Some good hot coffee going on there. And while that's heating up, I'm going to try one of these hard biscuits with some honey. So the biscuits are really hard. But the honey is fantastic. I think that's a really good quality honey. <clears throat> the biscuits, the closest I can think of them is hard tack. Because they're so hard, but I like the flavor of them, especially with the honey. But you definitely have to have good teeth. I guess maybe in Lithuania they all have good teeth. It's definitely got a lot of, um, like, a multigrain kind of feel to it. It's not like your normal um, cracker either i don't know why it's uh so stiff and so hard no but is... i like that better than the saltines that come in american ones yeah it's definitely got a crunch and a bite going on and like i said the honey is just excellent mm -hmm. it's a really good honey and then hazelnuts i mean that's so much better than peanuts or something yeah, it's just all hazelnuts.
Oh, it comes with two bars of chocolate. Mm-hmm. I like that. It's not a it's not a dark chocolate. Mm. It's right on the edge of a, a dark chocolate, I think. Mm-hmm. I definitely wouldn't call that a milk chocolate. No, not really a milk chocolate, but I don't know if you could classify it as a dark chocolate either. It's almost kind of somewhere in between. So I wonder what the coffee tastes like. Hmm. <clears throat> Whoa, that's hot. I think we got the water a little, little warm on that. Put a drop of cold water in there, just to bring it down a little bit. So it's, it's definitely a very dark. Smells like a full-bodied coffee. Um, they give you a lot of sugar to go with it, or what seems like a lot of sugar. Um, apparently it's a 12 gram packet. Um, I'm not really sure where else we would put the sugar other than in the coffee. Um, and I used about half of it, so. It's a very strong coffee. Is it? If you were to use a very small cup, I mean, that would be, it'd be very, very strong. It's very hot. Oh, yeah. So I think I think our our main course is probably done as hot as this thing is. Ooh -wee. Wow. So there is no clear-cut way of opening these. Just gonna go for the teeth? Yeah, usually there's a little notch, but notch in this one. Oh, that's not appetizing. <laughs> Smell great though. <clears throat> smells really good. It smells like it's got a lot of sage in it or something. It smells like a Thanksgiving dinner. So this is chicken and rice, and there's definitely a lot of chicken in it. Um, you can see there's big hunks of, of white chicken in there and stuff. So I'll, I'll dig in and sample. All right. Cheers. No, oh, I made a mess on the table. I think it's delicious. That is delicious. Oh, man, that is. What it lacks in looks, it, it makes up in taste. That's uh, not grandma's chicken and rice, but man, that is fantastic. I think that is like a lot of sage and garlic, and it's really well seasoned. Um, it's just delicious. Oh, that, this is fantastic. If you guys can get your hands on a, a chicken and rice Lithuanian ration, I mean, this is, this is fantastic. This blows away any U.S. ration or even any Canadian that I've had so far. Mm-hmm. This is much better than U.S. rations. It's much better than the Canadian rations. I mean, appealing wise, looks wise, it, it doesn't. It's it's terrible know, to look at. Yeah, but I mean, taste is just it's it's phenomenal. I, I wish I could. I wish I could uh, share with you guys how it tastes.
I mean, it's just... I mean, it's a lot of sage. It's like really good dressing. Is what it tastes like. Like your grandmama's dressing. Like it's got onions. It's got sage. I think there's some pepper in there. It's got a wonderful earthy thyme kind of flavor going on. Like it's delicious. And it's got <clears throat> big chunks of, of chicken in there. It doesn't seem like real processed chicken. It's been ground up and formed. I mean, like, here's a piece of chicken. Nope, that was dressing. I mean, but that's that's a hunk of chicken there. That's not processed. This is just good. Okay, so I have a new task. We need to figure out how to cook this. Yeah, we certainly do. It's all very delicious. That is probably one of the best MREs that I've ever had. It kind of reminds me of French ones that I've sampled in the past. You know, food quality wise and stuff. And for that to come out of a bag, I mean, it's just... I think that's much... I think it's better than some of the French ones. So overall, I think it's outstanding. It is. We'll definitely give it an A, an easy A. Oh, I would too. I mean, the honey, the hazelnut, the chocolate, all delicious. Uh, looks wise, not so great on that, but taste is outstanding. I gotta have some more. <laughs> oh, it's enjoyable. So yeah, this is easily an A. I mean, for chicken, this is outstanding. This is top notch. I'm not really crazy about the beverages though. I mean, the coffee's fine, I guess. You know, I, I don't care about the beverages. It's the meal that matters. So, <clears throat> I guess that's a wrap. I mean, I'd definitely give this an A. Yeah. This is fantastic. I think the hazelnuts are my favorite part, or that delicious honey. Yeah, that honey works really good with those biscuits. So I was kind of worried when I first tried to bite into it and couldn't even hardly bite it. But, I mean, it works. It goes real good. But it's the main course. Do you think this may end up being an empty tray? I would say so. You think it'll get a clean tray award? Yeah, because... I think that will be the first clean tray award we've had. Regardless, I'll eat the rest of that, if you know. <laughs> okay, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget, when we have um, hit 500 subscribers, we'll have some giveaways and stuff. Um... Hopefully, we'll start making videos on a very regular basis again. Uh, thanks for tuning in.